Hey everyone, this is Baylor, and in this video, uh, we're actually going to set it up so the user can sign up so that uh, your, the site will become more realistic for authentication and user management and stuff like that. So what we're going to do, just to start off, is kind of work with our functions file. Uh, and I say that because we have, um, the functions file gets included into every header, you can see that. So this will be kind of our little global file for connections and stuff. Uh, so what I want to do for this is I'm going to copy these two files into it, or these three lines into it. Um, and I'm also going to come to the top and add session start. So session start is going to allow us to have sessions in our file or in our site or our little application. Uh, you have to do this to allow it to work. Uh, and it's best just to put it on every single page that's going to be loaded with PHP. Um, and then what we're going to do is, so oh, I, by that I mean that this is going to be included, so every single page is going to have access to it. Um, we're going to re, we're going to load the two files that are MySQL DB class and our user authentication class, and uh, we're going to connect to our database. So that gets us everything that we need. So what we're going to work with here is signup.php because right now we have our form. If I go to it, uh, we need to set it up so that we can actually put this stuff into the database. So the first thing I want to talk about is you'll notice that I gave every field a name user, the name user, um, I don't know what you call it exactly. It's like it creates an array. So what we're going to do for this is I'm going to set the action of our form equal to uh, do sign up PHP. I don't know if that's really the best way to do it. Um, I'm just doing it really so that uh, we can actually kind of look at this information that gets passed into it. So let's create that file, do sign up PHP, and here I'm just going to debug our post variable. So let's reload. Let's go ahead and put some information here. And uh, you know what I want to do? I'm going to set this up so it's by default in here. So I don't have to type it in here every time I want to do this test. Okay, so by default, every time I go to this page, it automatically fills this in for me. Uh, so if we click sign up, you can see it took us to this page and it gave us an array. The array by default has is all the post parameters, but you can see user has everything kind of contained. We have their first name, their last name, email address, username, password. What you may recognize with this first name, last name, email address stuff is that it perfectly lines up with our fields. First name, first name, last name, last name, email address, email address, username, username, except for the password fields. So what we can do with this is we can come in here and if we do our little new user sign up thing, uh, if I go to usage, you remember that the way we set it up where you create a new user, you pass an array and everything inside of that array, if we go look at it, everything inside of that array, oh, no, I didn't do it that way. Um, okay, well, what we're going to do here is we're going to say this. Well, first we need to make sure that we have all the fields, and I don't want to have to do that. So I'm going to kind of fast forward through this part, um, and you'll kind of see what I've done. Okay, so what I've done here is I've set it up so that we make sure we have all the fields required for this. Um, so we get their first name, last name, email address, username, and password here. Um, if you don't really require them to have a last name or you don't really require them to have a first name, things like that, you can either comment this out, you know, or just completely remove it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do essentially what we've done right here. So real quick, I'm going to create a snatch, scratch snippet um, so I can do this more quickly. Okay, so if I do this, there we go. 
So we're going to have their first name, their last name, uh, and their email address. So it's not a whole lot of time saved, but it, it is kind of nice. Okay, so let's just kind of push these out a little bit. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. Um, it's not great, but it's fine. Um, so what we're gonna, what this will do essentially, is uh, remember we set up our user data variable, and every time we set a variable here, it actually gets put into that user data variable. Well, what we're gonna be able to do here is when we save, we're just gonna be able to pass this array in as this user data. And this array, you remember before what we did? So we said password hash, password salt equals this password hash, password salt. Well, all that's automatically put in here. Um, what I'll do to kind of show you that is just debug this user data. So what we'll do for this is inside of our do sign up, we're just going to say, um, first of all, we're going to acquire our functions file. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and put in uh, user equals a new user. And we're just going to put in post user. So you remember post user is this whole thing. It has our first name, last name, everything here. And what we can do is we can say user save. We reload. We send all this. You can see that it has all the data right here. Password hash, password salt. It did everything automatically for us. So that's one of the big keys to using our class the way we have it. Well, if I go ahead and set, run this so that we actually insert our row, uh, what I want to do is I want to truncate our table because we have a row and it's identical to this one for the most part. Just truncate it. If I reload, and come over here and reload, you can see that it put our data in here just the way we want it. Um, I don't really like that uh, forward slash, so what I'm going to do, or the backslash, and I thought that this would remove it automatically for me, but it didn't. Um, and so what I'm going to do here is I guess I'll wrap each one of these in um, strip slashes. Okay, so let's truncate the table again. So we remove that and reload. Continue. And if I go back to our database and reload, you can see now a Baylor array and the array looks proper. Okay, so that does exactly what I want it to do. So we were able to actually put a user into the database. Um, so I'm not a big fan of actually using this do sign up form file or whatever you want to call it right here. Um, but one thing that I want to do with this is I want to check and see if we actually did save a user. So what I want to do is to over here at my user file where we save the user. Um, I'm not. I don't remember how I did my insert. I'm going to go look at it really quickly um, for when we insert a row. It returns true or false. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is instead of returning true, I'm actually going to return. Oh, let me think. Would it be our SMT object? Um, maybe I could do return this uh, find results SMT object. Our statement. Okay, so that can kind of be ignored what I did inside of this file. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the best if I can figure out to do the way I want to do it. Um, so our user would be equal to this. Debug our user and see what we get. Um, it may not work. I'm really thinking it's not going to work. Um, but we'll try it anyways. And yeah, that didn't work. Okay, 
So the the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video, get it to work the way I want it to work, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and this is what I've come up with. Um, I set it up so that it will, um, every time you run a MySQL query, you can get the last row that was inserted. So that it auto so I've got eight of these rows, and they're all identical. Um, but you can see that it automatically figures out, um, it automatically finds the row. So what I want to do now is because this is filled with myself, um, I'm going to truncate it and uh, reload and you can see that we get user one uh, it, it actually found it specifically uh, and we were able to get that last row so what I'm going to do is when we save this we're going to make sure that we if the um, row um, of the MySQL or if let's just do row equals MySQL row or last row is that right? I, I, I'm not really sure if that's what I named it. Yeah, last row. Okay. Um, if we have that last row, then what we're going to do is return our row. And else, we're just going to return false. So this is what will happen when we want to work with this. We can just say, if our user was saved, and here we can just call our we can say user equals um, I don't think that's really necessary uh, what I'll do instead in here instead of returning our row for the save so we lose that object uh, what I'm going to do is just say let's debug that row again so we insert it okay so I want to get it at its zero Okay, so here we just get that standard object class, whatever. If I turn this into an array by changing its type, you can see now we get the array. So what can we do with that? Well, what we can do here is say uh, this user data equals this dat row right here. So this will actually update our entire thing so we actually get that ID. Uh, that's kind of important. We don't have to try to find the last ID. We can just get that ID. We don't have to try to find by their username or anything like that. Um, so ultimately what we get here is if we did save, well, we can echo out their user ID. Well, I thought we could. Um, let's debug the user real quick so I can figure out what's wrong with that. Um, if the user did save, what happens if we run it out here? Okay, so that's working. Oh, maybe it's no longer returning true. Is that a possibility? It is. Return true. Okay. And you know what I did here? I actually set it up so that we have that multiple return thing. So let's just throw that in there real quick so I don't contradict myself. Okay, so by default it returns false. Okay, so now inside of here, when we save, we want to reload and say that we got our user. So here we can actually just echo out our user ID. And you can see we have the user ID, we can get their username, we can get their first name, and uh, their, what, what we can do here is just use our last name, and we now have that. Okay, so everything's working exactly the way I want it to work, so we can get that user information. So if you want to do something with it, like we could do like a um, header, look, redirect, to location, um, and here I'm going to say user, and let's just say you set it all up for a user username. So when you save, it redirects you to their pro their profile page or however you want to set that up. Uh, what we're going to do though is we're going to redirect back to our index.php file. Actually, we could do login.php. So if I come back here, we sign up, 
let's truncate the table so we don't do this over and over again again. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Sign up, and you see it redirects us back to login.php. We didn't get any information for congratulations, you signed up for anything, so we may do that in a later video. If I forget, you know, remind me. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and goodbye.